Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm doing something fun today. I'm going through my foiled stickers. I have a binder, I have lots of binders, full of foiled stickers. And if you'd like to have a look at them with me, stick around because I'm going through, well, just one book, but it's full. Hope you enjoy it. Hi everybody, this is Donnie. I am here today to show you some foiling. It's been requested by a few of you that I show you how I store my stickers that I've made myself and especially the foiled ones and um, do a run through of kind of what I have and what I've made. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. I have tried this once before and uh, Miss Tech Savvy that I'm not. Um, messed up my camera just it didn't work but it was a lengthy video if it had recorded so I'm going to try to combine it a little better and we'll see first of all I wanted to show you what I use I use foil obviously I use foil and when I use foil I use generally a number of colors that are kind of popular in the planner world right now I like to use different ones I've had over the last two years I guess I've been foiling I got a big big roll of this gold it's a very bright yellow gold and it's on a huge roll I've used a ton of it and I still have tons left but my favorite of all are these from uh, binding 101 I'll link all this below and I will do my very best to give credit where credit is due because that's that's important. I want to show you these three colors specifically because there's been a lot of questions, especially about the rose gold. But let's look at the gold first. This first gold is not from Binding 101. I got this big, huge roll. I can't remember where now. Um, but it's it's good foil. I use it all the time. No problems. I found more colors in uh, smaller rolls, more cost effective for me to do a smaller roll. Now you see there's two sizes. Um, I'll get into that in just a second. Okay, let's look at the gold. This one, like I said, is the bright, bright gold. Ye more yellow. This is Binding 101's light gold. The light gold is on an eight by I don't know how many yards is on here eight inches let's have a look real quick so I can get this I'm pretty sure this is eight inches maybe a little on eight and a half eight and a half inches okay I've had this roll for a while I've only used it a few times so far because I'm still working on my newest colors which are these two okay that's light gold. I'm going to set that aside. And let's compare the rose golds. This is a brassy, uh, bronzy I should say. A bronzy color. Same one from the gold. Same place I got the gold. It, to me, was rose gold when I bought it. And I've used a ton of it. It looks great in my spreads. But I honestly think this is bronze. This is rose gold from binding 101 this is the one that has the number 70 after it let me set this back aside that big roll okay that's the 70 here's light pink and you can see how similar that rose gold is to light pink it's a variation but light pink is like one of my favorites I bought this roll. Um, this is a 12 inch, I want to say. 12 inches, yes. Um, because I was doing the math and I was trying to figure out the best way for me to do a sticker sheet uh, and which roll would be cheaper in the long run. You know what I mean? Save money. And I prefer the taller rolls, the 12 inch rolls. Depending on how you hold foil or cut foil, are you going to cut it eight and a half by 11 this direction? Or are you going to cut it 
eight and a half by 11 the other way, which would be less inches this way. Okay. So I'm not, I don't even do eight and a half by 11. Uh, I always have extra left over here at the bottom. This one, I don't have that little piece of leftover every time. I may have much less. So it kind of just depends on what you want to do. Now, with those leftovers, I never throw the used sheets in the trash. I always keep them because we have found out that you can use a glue pin. I'll show you real quick. One of these quickie glue pins. Um, oh, what, Sakura? I think the name on it is Sakura. I'll link it below. And most of what I'm going to be talking about will be linked below. So, like I said, I'll do my best. Um, we can use this, let it dry on a sticker sheet, you know, just kind of embellish it. And then just press the foil on it and it will adhere. So that's one way you can use foil. And of course, there's the hot press method, which I use a mink machine. Some of you have good results with a laminator. I do not have a laminator that gets hot enough to foil. So I use the mink machine. And be very careful if you have a mink machine because once it messes up, you can't fix it. As far as I have found out, I have three mink machines in my house. Okay, this is my sticker book. This is what I have all of my colors in. Um, not all of them in one book, but this is how I keep all of my colors. When I foil, I foil a lot. This just happens to be gold. And it's just a plain Jane white half size or whatever size this is. You know, let's, you know, it's right there. Let's just do this nine by seven and a quarter, something like that. With these sheets inside, these are just the plastic, um, three hole punched envelopes, whatever you want to call them, sheet protectors, that's what they are. So I use tons of these. My husband has been on the lookout. I have been on the lookout for the last year. I've been trying to get all of my binders together and you've seen the video, I'll link it below, of my planner space where I show how I have everything set up. So here's one of my binders. Look how full it is. This is just gold stickers. I, sh I need to go to a volume two, it looks like. And I made stickers, of course, with my silhouette machine. And I should have foiled those. That would have been a cute addition, but I keep making more, so I didn't, you know, do that. Just kind of a background with black written on it. Um, it's just a way, very handy. And I keep it right next to me on a bookshelf to keep all of my uh, foiled stickers that I use when I do a spread, a planner spread. So let's look at these, okay? We're going to go through just the gold first, and then I have light pink, um, my light pink binder, also quite large here. Um, and it also has a little bit of the dark pink at the back of it. And we'll look at some of those, but basically each one of my foil colors has its own designated binder or I put multiples in one binder of like, you know, blue and red and I can't remember what other color that is. All the hollows are in one binder as well. Okay, let's look at this. The first, there's multiple sections, but generally if I need one little group, I want just a little bit of foil, this is the group I'll pick. It's just this first envelope. I'll call it an envelope because that's how I'm using it instead of a page protector. So let's pull out everything in this very first section. Then I'm going to set this aside and we're going to go through just this section. Now again, I will try my hardest to give credit where credit is due because that's very important and I don't want to mess up anybody's business by not giving them credit. Do not think that I made everything. I did not. Um, I have a silhouette cameo. I use the silhouette software and I make my own stickers. This one, for example, I made. Um, there's no sticker on here saying what shop it was from and I remember what I made. For the most part uh, it's easy to do this it's very simple and easy you can find free icons 
on Google. Just Google it. And that's what I do. I always check and I, I click on the thing to make sure it is not an owned or need to be bought item. So if it's free, I feel free to use it. I don't sell it. It's mine to use. Okay, I always have date dots. These are from Paper Crown Planner. I will try to link everything below, but I might leave one out because I'm not perfect. I've used these for a lot of a lot of my spreads, most of my spreads, because there were so many of these on one sheet that I just foiled every single color that I had and made multiples. Okay, easy way to do it and have tons of, of foiled date dots. I also have this in round somewhere. Um, there's more back here that I've already used and have just, just a few left on some of these. But anyway, that's a handy way to have day dots. Okay, this little group right here, and I'm going to have to kind of fumble through some of this because a lot of it is repeats. I have more than one. Uh, when I do a sheet like for example this size I will do multiple groups like a whole page we're gonna pretend that this is the same one down here and I'll do multiple sets on one sticker sheet and then I'll just cut it so I'll have multiples sometimes I foil the whole thing with one color sometimes I will do a couple of colors on one page so you know as you're working on your own stickers, you can do however you want. Um, and I'll talk more about other stuff later that you've seen me use. So don't worry, I will get to that. Okay, trash day, Sabbath. Uh, I go to church on Saturday. So laundry stickers. Here's a fellowship meal. All of this is just script stickers with with the little extras because we kind of like that but I made them myself so easy to do same with this little church icon off of Google free icons little envelopes let's talk about headers uh, I saw a need a long time ago for a half header and so I made these little sheets of half headers literally it's a sticker that is half the height of a full header well easy to do and now that see I did these a long time ago some of them are scratched up some of them are like I would never sell something like that because see that's got like a botched stereo where the foiling didn't foil but I can use all the rest and it's for me it doesn't matter to me but I saw a need for this size because I wanted to cover just a tiny bit of white space with something pretty so I, I thought well a header would work if I cut it in half so I cut them in half well that doesn't make it very pretty so I started just making a sheet of just the half header size and I've used a ton of these I like them like in the sidebars and just as decorative things so now half headers have become necessary almost necessary because the Erin Condren new setup for the 2019 2020 calendar has those little half header sized headers in you know in its new configuration so guess what I was ahead of my time here half headers I need to figure out a way to measure I still haven't learned software well enough where all I have to do is make one cut across so make like a rectangle this way and then one cut across at the correct distance because why cut a square out and waste all that foil you know same thing on these made these myself measured made the stickers myself on my software so that's what those are weekend banners I made two different ones this one was the first one I had made and I like this font better so that's why there's extras of those tons of weekend banners okay let's talk about digital shops digital shops have been one of my very favorite things it had they have just exploded and being able to use my silhouette software to print my own stickers has been just phenomenal 
Paper and Gumption is one of the companies I use quite a bit. Plan for Happy. MWD Designs. Mother with Daughter Designs. Okay. Cute, adorable icons, y'all. You can use all kinds of things from these shops to decorate your planners. I I really do love working with this lady here, Cassandra. She is so much fun. And we have had just a blast. If y'all have not seen my 4th of July spread where I did a collab with her, go check it out because we had a blast. So check out all the digital shops. Um, we, we have at our fingertips all kinds of fun stuff to use so utilize that if you have a silhouette machine you know this is really for a silhouette machine some of you have a Cricut and I don't know anything about the new Cricut I bought an old Cricut machine when they first came out years and years and years ago that's all the experience I ever had with that so I can't even tell you how to do any of this on a Cricut I'm sorry simple headers these are on clear sticker paper um it's a confetti header i seriously sat there and made dots in my silhouette studio and then cut put it on this exact same thing that i did these foiled headers over here that same sheet configuration cut the cut lines and made these gorgeous, gorgeous confetti headers and just printed it on clear paper. So I made single dots multiplied many, many times. So you can do that. These happen to be larger dots. I also have them in smaller dots. We'll show those later. Um, more script stickers here. Paper and Gumption. She has groups of things that you can print out, foil, and you have gorgeous stickers look at plan for happy these are uh, scalloped half circles cute 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 there's an empty sheet but i keep it because <laughs> i'm a hoarder so plan for happy she has many different designs that you can use and print and foil and cut yourself really really fun more half headers chevrons these are on clear sticker paper a chevron is nothing more than squares or rectangles that i have cut the corners off of made multiples of i had three and now i have chevrons a whole page of chevrons okay i'm gonna try to speed up go quicker y'all have seen the scripts there icons headers more icons Here's the smaller sheet. Um, I'll see it to grab it. You can see the difference here. Clear sticker paper. Large dots, small dots. Confetti headers. Paper and gumption. This one says, don't forget. And reminder, I love that I'm able to do this right here. One sheet of paper, multiple times the months, and any extra room, I just, I utilize all the space on my sticker sheet, y'all. I do not make them pretty cut just because I don't want to waste it. So I can get, this is the second year I have used these, and I am fixing to need to do it again because I'm almost out of a number of the months here. So as I get through the end of the year, it's going to be kind of hit and miss whether I have enough for September and gold but I've got these in all the colors so again uh, MWD designs her arrows her swish marks her swish marks and the pins and pencils bobby pins bows these are so cute you can utilize these in your spreads and, and it just it just is a whole new world when I very first started the silhouette uh, design studio uh, that's silhouette studio and working with the designs on that you know you have hit and miss things well this is one of those hit and miss things I was trying to make some uh, check uh, heart checklists and just the stickers that you can you know do that with so play around with what you have and oh here's some more 
of the months that I've, I've, I've tried. You're going to have a lot of fun. Bows. You can find a bow anywhere on the internet that's free uh, and, and use it. Here's another set of bows I've made many, uh, many times, many colors. I like to use about this size on some of the full boxes to foil a full box. So that's those. This little sheet, as you can see, it's a banner, little tiny banner, flag, whatever, and there's confetti on one edge of it. That teeny, teeny, tiny dots. Well, I made all those dots. I did every single one of those dots. I sat there a long time doing this and working on this and multiplying this and making, as you can see, it's kind of like in, in stripes and getting it configured so that I can make these little tiny flags. I love to use these as like a bullet point and I can, it just adds so much to the spreads. I have these in lots of different colors. When I do the light pink, I'll show you some more examples of that. Film, edit, import, upload, tiny, gorgeous script stickers. So that's the very first section of the gold. Let's move these out of the way. The second section, and this is not something I expect y'all to just copy and do and, you know, this is ideas for you to use. This one's a smaller section at the moment. This is most of just the, the, the little pieces, smaller stickers that I have that I've done on clear sticker paper. You see two different colors, basically, of sticker paper here, only because it's two different batches of sticker paper. All of my sticker paper, all of it, comes from, let me get this correct, online labels, yes, and linked below is all the information you're going to need about foil and sticker paper and all the different companies and stuff that I use. I will put all that information below. Uh, check them out. Uh, their prices are good. I buy in bulk. The more you buy, the less it costs. Okay, let's look at these. Again, the same idea with the Chevron. I'll use these on the full boxes in the corners. I like to have just a little foil sometimes, sometimes more, but it's just these little shapes right here that I can put in a corner of a full box. And I have a whole sheet of them and I, I have them in all the colors because why not? I can do that. Little flourishes. Flourishes, th this was a free one and again, double check. I have used these flourishes. Don't look at that one. I ripped it. But I have used these in different sizes and they add so much to a spread. Same thing with that. A little flourish or a swish mark. They're on the internet. They are free and I don't sell these. Therefore, I'm just going to use them in my own spreads. Another very similar. I started out with these added a heart. Are y'all starting to think of what you can do? Same thing here. Stars on the internet. Icons on the internet. Hearts. You can find a heart and a bow anywhere. I watch um, two little bow babies. Uh, when she started using these little tiny ones to decorate her icons. Phenomenal. Y'all need to check her out. It's so cute to watch her channel. Love her channel. That was the cutest idea. What did I do when I first saw that? I went and made, you know, multiple sheets of these. So if you see something, look, there's a digital, probably a digital out there already. Sincerely D Designs. These are her heart and bow checklists. More swishes. I added a bow and a heart to a swish. Real cute. More stars, more swish marks, or whatever you want to call them. There's some more of those hearts and stars. Okay, these were popular for a while. I took, real simple, I went and found one of my scripts that had, what's that word? The extras, you know, I can't think of what they're called. Dingbats, maybe. Uh, anyway, the extra on the end of a, of a, of a uh, script 
if you look over there in your um, I'm trying to think what that's called font <laughs> check your fonts you'll probably find something you can use it's it's there it's free you've already got it uh, at a heart at a bow and you're good to go same thing with these little lines these were off of Google free uh, swoosh D just anything you can look up you can find those are some more clear headers larger size dot uh, hearts and bows and I think these are similar to what we've already seen. So is that this is just a real quick a squiggle. Same thing off, not the heart part, but the squiggle part off a script, a dink bat off a script. So you can find a whole lot of stuff. You've already got a whole lot of stuff sitting there on your computer. I guarantee. Okay, let's look at some bottom washi and full box overlays again on clear sticker paper and this is my next section i'm going to have such a mess everything's sitting out sincerely d designs starburst collection this is bottom washi for the left hand side of the page and the right hand side of the page that's why there's two different lengths and look at what all she has when you buy it, you can do it as many times as you want. Print it and foil it in all the colors of the rainbow. If you've got foil in a hundred different colors, you can do it in a hundred a hundred times on the digitals. I love her digitals. They are so much fun to work with. She is she has really got some cool stuff. Look at that. I love that. That marble look. All of the confettis stars and stuff now when i first started using my silhouette cameo and the silhouette software i tried really hard to do the same thing so here's my first attempt at some of the confetti splatter whatever overlays so that's what those are here's some more headers i happen to have in here sincerely d designs here's the full box um, overlays i love these like a paint spatter more of the stuff that I tried all that time ago. Sincerely D Designs. Here's stars. There's all kinds of stuff in here of overlays. Let me just spread these out real quick so you can have a look. More of the stars. The stars are really, really cute. Look at the bows. Aren't they adorable? So anyway, these are headers. These are all headers. There's some more date dots have those in all the colors and then real real quick these are more of the full box overlays and sincerely d designs so and if you watch me you have seen these before these i got off of ebay no 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 no, no. etsy sorry about that uh, i bought a digital background overlay I don't think it was called overlay but it was just in a frame and it was black so I knew I could print it and foil it once I sized it the way I wanted it real quick and easy to do and it has a real pretty effect on a full box so that's those I'm trying to keep them in a group my desk is such a mess y'all I'm sorry this is oh, paper crown planner has come out with these all different colors for the days of the week I love this look whoever thought of using a like a, a watercolor sw a swath whatever you want to call that thank you because it's just gorgeous in this setting look at that I did these I had to like take two days uh, and print all of these out uh, in color there's a video I've made of showing how to do foiling. If you're curious on how to do foiling, check out my videos. They're listed below. I can't go through the whole process, but it's worth your time and effort if you want to do it. Because if you want to buy a sheet of these, it's going to be 2 or 3 or $4, right? Um, do it yourself as many times as you want from a digital kit. Paper Crown Planner is this one. Um, how much money do you think I've saved? 
because I've done this in all of my foil colors too. That's a lot. So this was an exceptional purchase, I thought, for just a few dollars for a, a design. Let's talk about these. Now this one I'm going to go into a little bit more detail. Let me get this out of the way. Again, I've made some of these stickers. Let me show you those real, real, real quick. Just bows on all kinds of different color backgrounds. And you see my registration marks here. Uh, real quick, when I make and foil stickers, my general rule is to foil first, cut second. Why? So that I don't cut first and then try to foil over a cut line and it not adhere. And it looks tacky. So I don't like that. So that's why I foil first and then cut. My background colors. This is what I want to talk about. When I do my very own, this is, I did all of this. I chose the colors. I have, I'll link it below. I have one of those little color guide things that gives you the actual color numbers in red, green, yellow, I think it is. Whatever they are. And you just input the numbers in your Silhouette Studio for the color. And then you can uh, add, what is it called? When you make it lighter or darker, you know, you can you can range one color to be lighter and darker. And that's what I've done many times. And I take notes and kind of keep up with all that. So the background colors, all I do is literally I make a block. I white out my registration marks with a white block. There's a video. There's a video. Check it out. And... Then I print the background on my regular printer, my inkjet, come back with a black overlay of the bows or whatever I'm making in the black and use my laser printer to do that. Then I foil and then I cut. Sincerely D Designs has these little flags with hearts. I think there's others now too that she's made. I picked this up it's just an overlay the color does not come with her digital kit I did like I did with the bows the background color and then used her digital design on the top to make these flags isn't that adorable I mean I hope I don't say that too too many times stinking cute Maybe I can say that a time. Absolutely love these. I'll pull these out many times, even if I'm not using them like the old Erin Condren up at the top, you know, how she had the flag. We wanted to, to put something over that. I use these sideways, like I did those little tiny ones with the confetti on it that I made. I use these sideways a lot in my spreads. They add so much. Okay, going on. Let's look at these. Sincerely D Designs, and I hope I have that right because it's not printed on the sheets. Again, the background color I made, but the sticker is um, the actual overlay uh, to foil is hers, her design. on. This is light pink. You probably can't really see the colors very well right there. Stinking cute. How much are these Etsy stores? I'm not bashing Etsy stores. This is from an Etsy store. The digital is. So I'm paying somebody to use their item. Um, as, but I can use them as many times as I want. Obviously. Here's the other part. Little washi strip boxes. I think they're so cute. They have little bows in them. I don't think you can see that. But... Lots of those. Lots of different colors of those and all of my other things too. And then Print Petticoat Bandit has come out with these gorgeous, yes, the colors are hers. Look at the beautiful colorways. Hearts and bows. I love these. This was a delight. That was a delightful day to get to sit and make these in all the different foil colors. It was a whole lot of fun. They are fun to use. I just, it's like candy to me. And no guilt. 
no high blood sugar. <laughs> My doctor would be thrilled. Okay, let's go on. The next section, we already did that one, are these. I have two sections, half boxes and quarter boxes. I'm going to pull out the quarter boxes. Y'all know what a half box looks like. It's going to be the same. Let's talk about this. Now, I've already discussed the colors in the background. This is a this is a group that I made. Y'all, this is like heaven. I love all these different colors. Again, I used that swatch book and did all the different colors. Saved all the different colors. Y'all, I'm not even showing you everything. There's so many of them. I can't even pull them apart and show everything. Quarter boxes. Let's have a look. Let me get a darker color. And I use all of the room on my pages. I don't worry about if there's salvage, uh, my registration marks, or whatever left over. Um, they're mine. I get to use them. So I'm going to make as many as I can. Okay, this is simply a quarter box with stripes going through it that I foiled. All I had to do was make an outline, uh, you know, with a cut mark, and then put straight lines through it. If I do it correctly, I have perfect stickers every time. Then I foiled and then I cut. I use these a whole lot. If y'all have seen my spreads, you know I pull these out a lot. Uh, sometimes I use them a lot in a spread. I find that I use this color a whole lot. I love that buttery yellow. But aren't they gorgeous? And I love, 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 love having choices. That's the other thing. I love choices and I love certain colors more than others and, and pinks and creams and things like that. I need to, I noticed that I need more blues and at the time I made these, y'all see these little white stripes going through here. I did not have a very good printer. I did these over a year ago and I've recently, well, within the last year, I've bought a different printer that does so much better. So anyway these are the quarter boxes i have the exact same colors in the half boxes that's what the last section in this binder is that's what i do y'all this is what i do during the day when i'm you know getting busy doing stuff and i've recently started doing let me show you which one do i want to show you i'm making clips I've been making clips, and if y'all are the least bit interested, let me know, because I have clips. I have a whole bunch of clips. I'm making them, and I'm going to be selling them. So if y'all are curious about that, let me know. I'll do more about that later. Okay, here's the light pink. I wanted to show y'all a few other things that I've done with the light pink. Here, three. I hope y'all can see that trying to see if that'll focus put three in a group three hearts three bows cute stickers um, um many of these are the same as in the others because like i said i do multiples a background of confetti these are headers this little sheet right here internet and yes, that was my husband upstairs, if you heard that. Here's one of the sheets I was wanting to show you. And I see that I have a rogue sticker that's caught right here. That does come off. So, here I have the pink background with pink confetti. Tiny, tiny little confetti. And these tiny little flags. So cute. Y'all, these look great on a spread. If you put one of these on each day and kind of, it just split out. Again, those sheets. I first started, I did it in black as well. Y'all, black is gorgeous. Look at that with the pink. It looks great with silver, gold, everything. When I first started out with my Silhouette software, I wanted washi tape sorry that was upside down I wanted washi tape that was foiled so I started out by making washi tape with little hearts on it uh, bows yes I know the difference but I can't say it so 
just play around with your machine. See what you can come up with in your software. It's, it's worth the time, the effort, the investment. Because I can do these myself at any time I want. I don't have to wait for somebody to send me a sticker sheet that I've bought. I'm still in the community doing and playing and having fun with all the stickers. And it's exciting. So if you have questions, let me know. I will be happy to help. Have fun. That's the main thing. Have fun. Decorate your planners and go for it because I know some of you are and I can't wait to see what y'all are up to. Again, if you have questions, let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this. This is just the way I happen to do it. I know there are probably others out there who do things much nicer and better than I do. This is just me. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. See you later. Bye-bye.